All right, so this is a new uh, add-on or template. If you want to uh, use this on any, any Ableton session, you can. And it's basically a template for keyboards. So with basically, I set it up for the tracks that I'm selling, but you can use it really to the exact same thing with any Ableton Live set. And uh, what this is a template for keyboards. So you can actually uh, have keyboards come through Ableton, and it'll change the patches um, for each song. And um, I'm also going to have some tutorial videos that I found in the description here that you can click on. You can build these yourself, uh, but this one's already pre-made and um, and it already works great. And so, you know, if it's easier for you, it's easier for you. Uh, basically what it is, is so I have a couple keyboards sounds that I've put in here, right here as, as far as in just dummy clips. And what these are, these are MIDI clips that are basically just telling uh, Ableton to change the tone whenever I fire this track. So now it just changed the tone to this one. So if I look down here in my instrument racks, this is my MIDI channel. So if I look down here in my instrument rack, you can see all these different keyboards. And what I'm doing here is I'm laying them on different control notes. So basically like this one is on control note. If I move that around, it's on control note 6. And this one's on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So, and they basically work with these same clips. So if I fire this clip right now, now my piano playing is going to sound really bad because I'm actually playing the piano on my Mac keyboard. <laughs> so I don't have any notes. But if I click on Grand Piano, it's going to play a Grand Piano tone. If I click on the uh, soft uh, strings, it'll switch that tone to soft strings. Like I said, I'm playing this on my Mac keyboard, so I don't even I can't even see what notes I'm hitting. So these are just basic tones I put on. You can switch these tones out easily. But I'm, first, I'm going to show you if I call up a set, what I would do with it, how I'd get this in my set, is I'd basically just click on the channel, and then uh, right click or double click, and click copy, and then I would go and open up the set I want it to be in. Um, don't save because I don't need to save it. And I would, so now I have a, a set with a bunch of cover songs. Okay, so what I do is basically what you'll do is you go over here and like say click on um, like uh, click in or you can add a new MIDI track, but we just click on on this um, send right here. It'll actually create a new MIDI track. Go to edit, paste. And now right next to my lead vocals, I have all these keyboards. So now I can take any of these keyboards and I can say, okay, so say I want to have a grand piano sound on uh, Stay With Me. I can actually take that clip and I can either copy it and, and paste it down in here and stay with me. Now if I click on that clip, I'm going to have a grand. Intro, two, three, four. And if I fire this song to stay with me, so now it's playing this song. Intro. And I have a grand piano song, a grand piano tone. If I uh, say if I want to go up here to this, uh, I put a spell on me and I want to go ahead and keep a clav there, I would just now have clav. Intro, two, three, you know? four. And if I wanted to say I wanted to move that clav down to this one, but Chorus. I still wanted to keep it on there, two, just copy it, three, paste that clav four. up here. And uh, now if I click on ain't no sunshine. Intro, song will start two, and I'll have a clap. Three, four. But you know, if I wanted maybe strings, I can move strings down there and click play. Intro two, three, four. If I wanted strings back on that so other song, I just copy this, paste it up there. And basically that's how now any song I change to is gonna have different it's like this top song's gonna have a grand piano. The song next to it will switch Intro, when I click the song to two, that strings. Three, four. Uh, Intro, two, three, black to black four. will be, or back to black, we'll have a Rhodes. Intro, two, three, four. This, uh, put a spell on me, we'll have a clav. And Intro, this, uh, two, three, this song right here will have a, have a bass, so. I have to go down some notes on that. I click on Intro, that. Break down. down three, four. 
You know what I mean? So anyhow, that's basically First, how you could two, how you change three, four, your three. off. That's basically how you could, how you have your keyboard automatically change uh, with the song, and then you can actually split the keyboard um, or and have it go to other clips too. But but this is just a basic template just to get you that one tone you need for each song. So you already have keyboards playing, but say you want to add a piano live, you know, now you have it in there that you can just see the song plays. It already called that patch up. So uh, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to change these tones out. So it's easy to, to change um, uh, the tones out or add new tones, but I'm, I'm going to add a new tone. So if I wanted to add a new tone, what I basically do is I just grab this piano and I would just hit uh, Command D, duplicate that, and I'd call this something, you know, I just basically right click or double click, rename it, I'm going to call it Other Tone, Other Tone for now. Okay, so now if you look down here in my uh, in my instrument rack, you'll see Nothing because I haven't put a I haven't put a, a MIDI track in there yet. So, I, but I have a pad right here that says other tone, and I come over here and I'll find an instrument I want. So, say I want to find, and if you open this up and click on it, you'll hear it. Say I, I want a wobble bass there, so I'm going to grab that wobble bass and I'm going to drag it down. Now, when you get this, you know it might be like this. All I got to do is scroll down to where you see this drop instrument. So I'm going to grab that wobble bass. I'm going to drop that in, that right into there. Okay. And then I'm going to do is you'll see that this control note is on, still on zero, and I want to move it over to the next open one, which is going to be so tens full. So I'm going to move it one more to eleven. And if you look right down here uh, where my mouse is, you'll see that see how eleven eleven came up ten ten nine nine. I'm going to move it over to eleven. So that means and now now I just got to automate this clip to um, trigger on. On, on control 11. So I'm going to double click on the clip and then right here um, this is where I'm going to move this up to 11. What you want to do though first though is to make sure that this is in uh, on uh, bars. So just double just hold the, uh, the mouse anywhere double click and you're going to move make sure this is on bars. If it's on quarter notes you got to keep changing the whole thing. See if I go up I'll have to change all these. So I'm going to undo I'm going to right click make sure it's on bars and now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this up to 11. So if I look right up here, you'll see it change. So there's 13, 10. You know, if I go up here, it's at 70, 61, but I want 11. So I'm going to bring that down until I see 11. All right, so now I'm 11. So now if I click, click back on this, it'll take me back to my instrument rack, and I don't need to, but if I fire this clip, now I'm going to be playing that wobble bass. And if I click on nine, it'll switch to brass. If I click on eight, it'll click to pad. Okay, now let's say if you don't want one of those keyboards anymore, um, what you, all you that are down here, you just basically like, oh, I don't want that tone, and you just hit delete, and it gets rid of that tone. Uh, but now you have an open space left, so you could either use that, but you have tons more, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Just you know, just build a new space. Make sure that that uh, that whatever clip you're going to name here matches this down here. So if I want to add another one, basically what I do is I would take another MIDI clip, hit Command D to duplicate it, and I would add, and just rename that to whatever tone. So I'm going to call this um, other tone two two. Hit enter, uh, find the tone I want, and I'm in instruments. So, and if you have VSTs, you can use VSTs too, uh, whatever you want. I'm just using standard tones that come in Ableton, so if you buy the pack, the tones are there. So, a nice little wind tone. There we go, that's annoying enough. I drag that, drop it down here. My controller is on one, uh, zero, which that one's already taken. So, I'm going to move it over here. That's 11, 11. I'm going to go to 12, 12. Drop it there. Double click on my MIDI clip. Right click on that. Make sure it's on bar. And then grab my little pencil drawer. Now, if this pencil drawer is not on, it's right up here. So if I come down here, you can have a mouse. So you have to come up here and hit this little pencil drawer. And then I'm just going to bump this up to 12. So that's 14, 13, 12. 
Okay, so now if I fire this clip, if I go back up the wobble, so it's that easy, you know. Put that on, on electric piano. All right. Okay, so now say you have two controllers and you want to have a tone change with the songs, but a separate tone for each controller. And basically what you do is just is you just copy this. So after you get the tones you want in there you like. And uh, real quick too is also you can um, you can edit these tones if you like the tones but it's just not quite right. If you click on that tone, you'll see the keyboard all the way over here. So now everything for that keyboard is over here. So you can actually tweak the tones. If I want to go back here and click on uh, the soft string, you see how that moved again. So this is the soft string. You can go through and tweak all those tones. Or, or the old school roads, you can go through and tweak the tones, you know, even more. So uh, anyhow, uh, but say if you want to, you have two controllers and you want to have both controllers change tones for each song, basically all you do is you would just duplicate this track. So you just uh, click on the top of it, hit Command D, now you just duplicated the track. And then what you would do here, now this is, uh, you want to leave these on in. Um, a lot of, if you're on auto, uh, you're not going to hear your keyboard unless you have the record button on, and you don't want to do that for live. So you want to just keep the record button off and you want to hit in. Okay, and then what you'll do is right here, you'll go here and select your controller. I don't have any controllers hooked up to this keyboard. All I have is my computer keyboard. But you pull this down and it would basically you would see like say you had a you know a, a USB controller you would instead of it clicking computer keyboard you would select whatever that name of that USB controller is and you click that and then over here like say you had a um, uh, push you know then you'd pull this down and you'd see push here and you would select push then this one would be controlled by the USB controller and this one would be controlled by push and on another note, how you set your controllers up in Ableton, if you don't know how, um, you can't see, but you basically go up the top left hand corner to the, where you see live. You click on that, click on preferences, and you would come over here to MIDI sync. And right here is where you'd find your controllers. If you have a controller plugged in, you'd basically pull this down. These are controllers I have, but they're not plugged in right now. Um, you'd basically pull this down, find the controller you want. Um, if you if you can't find it here, you just leave that on none, and you'd be able to find it over here. So uh, I don't have any controllers hooked up. That's why it just says network. But you would actually see your controllers in and out here, and you would just select them there. And that's how you set up your controllers. And after that, you'll see them when you pull this down. You just pull this down, select whichever controller you want for that one, and pull this down and select whatever controller you want for that one. So this is basically what you get with this template. And yeah, you get the point. Hope you like it. There's also, um, I have a link to some other tutorial videos. It'll get you more in-depth. That was created by another guy on, on YouTube. Um, and you can do it yourself. Or if you want, you can buy the template and make it easy on yourself. All right? Hope you like it.